play the game because you care about your teammates and you care about your coaches. And I think it's the same mindset, you know, off the field. It's a tremendous honor to not only represent great men that have come before you, but to also represent a great organization. It's humbling. New Orleans Saints safety Tyron Matthew has had an illustrious career that has seen him win multiple honors and awards and earn him the moniker the Honey Badger because of his mastery of causing turnovers. But take a look at his luxurious lifestyle and you'll find out he also knows how to get the sweetest things like the Honey Badger. In this video, we'll show you just how sweet and exotic this star NFL safety's lifestyle is. So make sure to stay with us until the end. Have you ever been to New Orleans, Louisiana? This is where Matthew was born way back in May of 1992. Like most NFL stars, the path to stardom wasn't smooth for young Tyron. It's even arguable that he had it worse than most. His biological father, Darren Hayes, spent the night when Tyron was born in a prison cell for petty theft. And a couple of weeks later, he was given a life sentence and incarcerated for murder. So for most of Tyron's life, he didn't know his dad. His mother, Tyra, isn't any better, as she gave Tyron away as only a baby to his grandparents to take care of because she couldn't take care of him alone. Matthew was raised by his grandfather until he was five years old when his grandpa died of heart failure. And then he had to move in with his uncle, Tyrone, and his aunt, Sheila, who is a former Zulu queen and his adoptive parents. This might just have been a blessing in disguise because the couple took him and raised him as their own and helped keep this NFL star we know today off the streets and away from the dangerous life of crime and focused on making it to the pro league. Matthew also had four other siblings, but he hardly knows them because he and his immediate younger one were both given away for adoption by their mother. Plus, she had five children in the span of seven years for two different men. Hard to keep up with that, don't you think? Despite the hardships and unfit neighborhoods surrounding Tyron's childhood days, the talent in him always found its way to single him out. Matthew attended St. Augustine High School in New Orleans and was a star for their football team, the St. Augustine Purple Knights. But what many people don't know is that he also was a track star for his high school's track team, one of the best in fact, and was a part of the relay team. That's not all though. Matthew also did both long and high jumps. And not just for fun, he was one of the best performers in the state, having a personal best leap of 1.93 meters in high jump and 7.92 meters in the long jump at only age 17. An alternate universe, and maybe Matthew would have been the next Carl Lewis or Javier Sotomayor. However, we're not in an alternate universe, so football remained his first love and arguably what he was best at. Playing as a cornerback for the Purple Knights, Matthew ranked 13th in the nation by the time of his graduation from high school in 2010. No wonder he graduated as a four-star recruit. Fresh from high school and a definite future All-American provided he stayed on the right path, the Louisiana State University offered him an athletic scholarship. And for a boy who had seen the very toughest of lives, Matthew accepted it. It was a chance to finally get out of the life. And he did, for at least a while, as a freshman, Matthew played in all 13 games and was named the most outstanding defensive player of the 2011 Cotton Bowl Classic. Remember, this was his first season. In his second season, he was even better. He was so good, he was named the MVP of the 2011 SEC Championship game. He was a Heisman Trophy finalist, finishing at fifth, and also won the prestigious Chuck Bednarik Award for the best defensive player in college football for the year. You're correct if you believe Matthew's on-field performance is solely responsible for the Honey Badger nickname. We mean he caused so many turnovers, made so many big plays, and forced the opponent to make fumbles. And not just any opponents, but opponents almost twice his size. He even set the Southeastern Conference record for forced fumbles in just two seasons with his 11 forced fumbles. You probably don't know that his iconic nickname also came from his equally iconic hairstyle during his college careers. He had this dyed patch of blonde hair on top of his head that resembled the blonde patch of hair on the back of a honey badger, hence the name. 
After participating in the pre-draft process and ranking as the 10th best cornerback by scouts before the draft, he was drafted in the third round by the Arizona Cardinals in the 2013 NFL Draft, reuniting with former college teammate Patrick Peterson. After the draft, Matthew signed a four-year, $3 million contract that included $800,000 guaranteed and a signing bonus of $265,000. And as they say, the rest is history. Despite being converted to free safety after the draft, from his first season, he was already a standout player with 68 combined tackles, 65 solo, nine pass deflections, two interceptions, a sack, and a forced fumble in 13 games and 11 starts, topping it with being named in the PFWA All-Rookie Team. Matthew has since earned three invitations to the Pro Bowl, been named to the first team All-Pro team thrice, and has played for the Houston Texans and Kansas City Chiefs, where he won Super Bowl 54 before signing a $33 million contract in 2022 with his hometown team, the New Orleans Saints. His illustrious NFL career has seen him record a total of 631 tackles, four forced fumbles, seven fumble recoveries, 77 pass deflections, 27 interceptions, and three defensive touchdowns. The Honey Badger, indeed. Having achieved all of this, the question of how much he has made in his playing career is probably on your mind. Well, after his first contract with the Cardinals as a newly drafted player in 2013 that saw him earn over $3 million over four years, his exploits on the field saw him rewarded with a new contract in 2016, worth $62.5 million over five years, with $21.25 million as the signing fee and a signing bonus of $15.5 million. After being released by the Cardinals for refusing a pay cut in 2018, Matthew had a spell with the Houston Texans on a one-year contract worth $7 million before joining the Kansas City Chiefs on a three-year $42 million deal in 2019. His most recent contract was signed in May of 2022 with his hometown team, the New Orleans Saints. And the deal is worth $33 million with a signing bonus of $9.5 million and total guarantees of $18 million. Catch a quick breath, that's a whole lot of millions. All these deals have seen him earn a total of $84 million in his professional NFL career, the second highest career earnings for any free safety in NFL history. He might not be badging the banks, but he's still getting this money, or should we say, honey. What's more, well, having 10 years of NFL experience definitely gets you some endorsement deals. And Matthew has also succeeded in that area, having multi-million dollar deals with sportswear company Jordan Brand and with GQ Magazine. Not bad for a college dropout, even Kanye would agree. Now, with all of this cash, sure one of the greatest defensive players in the NFL knows a bit about luxury, right? Right. Matthew acquired one beauty of a home back in April of 2019, a home fit for an icon. Located on the southern edge of the Kansas City Metro in Overland Park, this mansion sits on 6,044 square feet of land. Worth about $1.3 million, the residence in the farm at Garnet Hill Development has six luxury size rooms, a specialized deluxe kitchen with a large island, a walk-in pantry as exquisite as any you'll ever see, and top quality wolf appliances. The home's lower level is as well furnished as the upper floor, with a bar, an extra bedroom, and a media room for movie nights with Matthew and his family. Even the backyard is five-star, with a covered patio and its own fireplace. What a house. One can tell Matthew is fashionable with all of his body tattoos, but more than the fashion, some of his tattoos tell a story and are a memoriam to his numerous family members that have died due to the violence and lifestyle in the New Orleans projects. Matthew has a tattoo that features 22 crosses, each for a close one he has lost over the years. Another proof of Matthew's flair for fashion is the wristwatches he wears. He was once spotted wearing a customized Richard Mill with a blend of high-tech materials, a diamond-set rose gold case paired with a white rubber strap. Drip, drip, drip. Despite the many challenges Matthew faced growing up and repeated changes in loved ones around him, one person has remained constant since his college days, and she is his fiance, stunning businesswoman, Sydney Page. Sydney and Tyron met while they were in college at Louisiana State University. Born to her mother, Jill Jenkins Bowles, and raised by her stepfather and former head coach of the New York Jets for four years, Todd Bowles, Sydney attended Hebron High School in Carrollton, Texas, and went on to study mass communication as journalism in college. 
They started dating in 2011, and she stuck with him throughout the difficult times that had him not playing football for a year. She eventually moved with him to Arizona when he was drafted in 2013 and enrolled at Arizona State University before getting accepted into the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication. Before her graduation in 2015, Sydney had worked as a professional dancer for two NBA teams. Being a member of the cheerleading team for the New Orleans Hornets, where she was among the winners of the Black Scholars Awards program by the LSU Black Faculty and Staff Caucus in 2012, before she relocated to Arizona and joined the cheerleading team for the Phoenix Suns, wearing the same jersey number 32 as her longtime partner Tyron. She has since worked as public relations coordinator for consulting agencies that help clients derive media attention. Tyron proposed to his stunning girlfriend in 2019 after eight years of dating, and he did it in style with a stunning engagement ring with a six carat emerald cut center stone and 3.35 carats on the band, worth a whopping $250,000. The honey badger going big for his honey. Tyron and Sydney have two children together, a boy, Tyron Matthew Jr., born in November 2014, and a girl, Mila Jill Marie, born in November of 2019. Tyron also has a son named Noah Thomas, born to him by his hometown ex-girlfriend and Gentilly hairdresser Megan Edwards in 2013. It took a court ruling and a DNA test to get Tyron to know the boy was his son back in 2014, but he now raises his three kids with Sydney. Tyron Matthew, who is obscenely wealthy and an NFL player, is aware of his good fortune and always works to assist those who are going through similar experiences as he was. In order to affect the lives of financially disadvantaged children and youth in Kansas City and New Orleans through encouragement, chances, and resources to fulfill their aspirations, he founded the Tyron Matthew Foundation. The Matthew Foundation has helped the underprivileged by providing them with food and tickets to NFL games, among other things. Okay guys, if you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like to help this video get shown to more football fans just like you. Lastly, if you have a player that you'd love to see an episode on, please leave us a comment below. That's it for now guys, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and peace out.